friends, welcome back. It is beverage 30 o'clock, whatever. Um, <laughs> I have had these for a little while now, probably before the holidays, but I haven't had the opportunity to sit down and properly film this. So here we are. These are just some of the products that Pika Miche has to offer here in the Valley. You can find them on Rays on 56. There's also an Alley's One Stop, I believe, in a Plaza Market here in Yakima that you can find these at. But basically, these are Michelada cups ready to go. And all you do is add beer. This one's for if you didn't want it fully lined. We're going to try both. And then this is interesting. This is basically their rimming sauce to go. So if you need a little kick in your life, throw this in your bag. Bust it out when you're having a beverage and it's very cute. It reminds me of baby food actually, but it looks very portable. Uh, and I'm excited to try these. So with these, if you don't know, I guess we we'll just start here. Michelada, Triggy's here. A uh, Michelada is basically beer with lemon, lime, spices, juice, whatever you want it. Uh, some people refer to it as a Bloody Mary, but made with beer, a red beer, if you will. But there's usually some kind of a spice content to it, which is pretty refreshing. And also with that fresh lime or lemon, uh, the shelf life of these is, I guess, a year. Crazy, I know. But that kind of makes sense. You know, if you're putting together this and just having to add beer, I get it. They said that, as I try and open these, they said that there is curbside pickup available as well as free shipping if you do like so much. I believe it's $40. And I'll tell you what, this is not the first, oh, and it's sticky. Uh, we will continue on. Uh, this is not a beverage that I reach for myself. I do love tahine, those kind of spices. I love the spicy gummies that we've tried before. But um, I'll usually just take a regular beer, but I'm excited to try these because I do love the spice aspect. As you can see, that is all sticky goodness. Yes, she is sticky. I just want to try it. Um, so there was a film around there. Clearly they have dipped these and then wrapped them. There is a lid here and I am trying my darndest not to get all sticky. I think y'all know how I feel about that. Uh, and then there is a bunch of spice. I am only assuming that it is kind of like a tahine. I'm only assuming. And then you pour your beer in there and you drink it. So I want to taste this by itself first you know, because I'm wanting to do a full review in a scientific way. Smells like spice, tahine, uh, much like the Mexican candies that I've tried in the past. Mmm. Ooh, it gets you right here. It's sour. I love that. And it's got a good heat. Not overly spicy. I'm curious to see what it's going to do to the beer, actually. That's good. Hmm. Okay. Guys, whatever you're using, she's tangy. <laughs> um, full cup, original cup. Then we have the, oh, what do they call this? Mix cup, I believe for those who might not want the fully rimmed deliciousness. Oh shoot, and I forget where I opened it at. Well, we'll just slice her again. And then we also have that rimming, <laughs> really don't like to get sticky. Um, The rimming sauce, which I have another cup for that we'll be adding it on the rim and adding beer. <coughs> so sorry. 
I would assume that this is the same. <laughs> Whoa, is that hotter? Spicier? <coughs> no tamarindo chili. Why is that one spicier than this one? Yes. Okay. This one also comes with a little pack of seasoning, which I don't think we're going to need because of how spicy that is. But in case you want to go big, it also comes with, I don't know what these are called, friends. They are basically tamarind and chili, uh, fruit, leathery type thing on a straw. So I'm guessing you can stir this in here, eat it, candy basically mm. and then goodness how do i okay set that there and then it looks like there is some extra tamarind and a little spoodle i do love tamarind though so let's i'm curious to see what the one thing i so sticky so sticky we're just going to be very careful That is tamarind paste. It's got some chili in there. Not as hot. So I, wa I wonder, is that what's lining here, I bet? And then they roll it in their spice, which is this, obviously. That's what I'm going to assume. Okay. That is so spicy. Maybe I'm just being a wimp. I think that's it, but. Mmm. I love these. Okay. When we got the pouch. So this one was not sealed at all. Um, like normally when you break these, there's like some kind of a seal component that you could hear or feel click. So this one was not sealed. So I am going to not try this one just because, you know, safety first, but we will definitely try these. And <laughs> I was like, what could I put in here? So, you know, if you have not tried this, this is delicious. Just go try it. You will like it, especially if you like mango. And then I also have the Golden Road Brewery Fruit Cart Mango Seltzer, which I thought would be really cool to try in this. So how should we do this? Because I want to try them in both. Let's do this one first. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour some of this in here. We will drink some of it <clears throat> and then we'll go to the hard seltzer. Okay. Is that a deal? Mmm. Okay, so instantly you pour it in. You see it's fizzy, it's beer. And then I can only assume that now it's going to take some of this saucy sauce off with it as we drink. Plus, when you're drinking it, obviously you're going to get some of this rim, rim job action as well. Deliciously mango. I think just for sheer science, we need to drink some of this by itself. Just so we get, you know, a baseline, if you will. If I don't spill it all on me. And we know that's good. Oh, God, that's good. Okay, here we go. Modelo mango chilada in a pica miche cup. The lesser of the two, I would say, as far as like spice is concerned, but I could be totally off my rocker, but. That 
that's delicious. <clears throat> the one thing that if you have any kind of a texture issue or whatever, um, <clears throat> is that when you are drinking from the cup, this rim job here is touching your lips and then you're drinking liquid. Um, so if that bothers you, you've been warned, but this is delicious. I like doing this. Mm -hmm. There's that salty, <clears throat> limey, obviously mango-y, uh, tamarind aspect going on. A little chewy. There's some texture because of the tahini or whatever spice that they're using. You know what I will say? <clears throat> because I'm putting this in here, because this is a bit salted, this is salty, so it's very salty. I'm anxious to see if this is going to um, change the aspect because it won't be so salty, if that makes sense. But we won't let anything go to waste here. Um, you are getting a little bit of the inside line, line, liner of the sauce. It's starting to flake off in the beer, so you'll get a little bit as you drink. That's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna burp probably. <clears throat> I won't lie. I would probably prefer um, to do just the, like this in the beer instead of having it rimmed myself. Um, it's really good to chew on though. I like that. Okay. Mm. Actually, let's do this. The mango hard seltzer. We're going to throw it in that same cup. So good. So good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sure folks would tell me that I need to let it sit for a little bit, but you know, it's already like the, the stuff inside is already, you know, breaking off. So I think we're good. That's better. <clears throat> Not as salty. And I'm sure it's because this has, must have salt in it. <clears throat> Seltzer though, <laughs> nice and light. So. <clears throat> okay, moving on. <clears throat> the spicier of the two, but we got the straw. So. We'll start here with the chilada from Modelo. We got the little straw in there. Mm. I like this one better. <clears throat> wow. 
but that is spicy. Holy cow. <clears throat> Maybe you shouldn't bite it off, Nicole. Okay. It's so good, though. Okay. <clears throat> and I love this. Okay. She's my winner today. Not to say this wasn't good, but as far as the amount of spice, salt, all that, this is more potent to me, but I can also control it with how much I either take off or whatever. You can even probably like, I don't know, chip away some of this if you wanted to like not have it be so potent and then take what you wanted, you know? This would be great for parties. I told you I'd burp. Excuse me. Great for parties. Um, I wish that this had been sealed. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, this looks really fun. I my my plan was to take this, rim my mason jar because this is like you know, this stuff is like liquidy, and get a really aesthetic picture number one, and then pour in here. But I hope you guys can understand. But yeah, anyways, check them out on Instagram. Again, it's Pika Miche, <clears throat> which is spicy michelada. P I K A <clears throat> M I C H E on Instagram. Reach out to them. They respond very quickly. And let me know if you try these. Let me know if there's other uh, michelada cups that you've tried and would suggest. Or if there's anything else that you would put in there. I think that this would also be interesting, especially this, <clears throat> to do like rim a. Um, I can't think today. Rim a shot glass and then tequila in there and then take that. I think that would be delicious. But yeah, thank you for joining. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and then let me know if you've had this or if there's other Michelada products that you would love. And definitely try out the Modelo Chilada and the Mango Cart. The Golden Road Brewery Fruit Cart Mango Hard Seltzer. So we'll see you later, guys. Bye.